So let's talk about the first point in the trifecta here. Let's talk about energy, how to generate energy, how to be full of energy, how to be energy rich. And really when it comes to generating energy, it comes down to like an actual generator itself. Movement. Movement is what allows you to generate energy. Moving your body, getting yourself into motion. Emotion is energy in motion. So the more you can be in movement, the more energy you're going to have. I can gather to say that the moments you felt invigorated, the moments you felt on top of the world, weren't the moments that you were sitting down. It wasn't the moments that you were bored. It wasn't the moments that you were lethargic. It was the moments that you were standing up, moving your body, going for a run, in the middle of a workout, whatever it might be. And the real key here, is to generate movement close or as soon as you rise for the day. The trick is, as soon as you wake up, what can you do to get your body moving, to generate the energy that your body has been lacking throughout your resting period for that night of sleep, right? What can you do in order to get yourself moving? Well, generating movement could be simply going outside and getting a jog in, running outside. Even if it's walking, Right, Just simply generating that movement as soon as you wake up is going to create a dramatic difference and a dramatic impact on your life and specifically on the rest of your day. They say, and there's been studies done, that when you get moving as soon as you wake up for the day, when you start to sweat specifically, your body and your brain is releasing these nootropics that are actually invigorating your body. It's giving your body the nutrients and the hormones and the energy that it needs in order to go throughout the rest of your day in a beautiful and a positive way. Think about it. Have you ever started your day with a workout? How did you feel the rest of the day? How did you feel directly following your workout? How quickly did you move from this tired state to this state of feeling good? As soon as you started the workout, probably a minute or two into the workout, and you probably said that you felt better after the workout as you continue throughout your day. The key here to generating energy is intentional movement. It's carving out a time of your day to specifically take to move your body. This is one of the most important pieces. Now, the second wind here is a concept by someone named Robin Sharma, who is a giant leadership expert in the world. He's written books such as The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, The 5 AM Club, The Everyday Hero Manifesto, which is the book I'm reading right now from him. He talks a lot about a second wind workout. And he says, if you value energy, if you value health so much, then why would you only work out once a day? Why would you not take time for you and your physical body a second time during the day? What's stopping you from going back outside and taking a walk in nature? What's stopping you from even putting on a stretching video on your YouTube and stretching for 20 minutes, stretching even for 10 minutes? He says specifically, and I wrote this quote down because I really it really resonated with me, don't let an old man or an old woman into your body. Don't let them in, right? Block the entryway by focusing on generating energy with intentional movement and by focusing on this second wind movement, which will help to revitalize you even more and give you more energy for your night and give you more energy and positive feelings and emotions for the next day ahead. That's the first point in the trifecta of your inner voice. When you feel better, you're going to notice that your inner voice changes.